Hey, what's up, guys? Kevin here from Canadian Card Pickers with part two of our Tops 2020 uh, Baseball Series 2 Hobby Box opening. For those of you that missed the first part, uh, there should be a card just up at the top for you to go and watch that. So definitely watch that before you uh, kick things off with this one. So we opened six packs. As you can see, we did get a Luis Robert rookie card. Just plain, nothing special, just the huge but it does go for right now on Beckett at the lowest, about $12. At the highest, it's uh, 30 something. So it is one of the top rookies to get. You can see my little makeshift stand that I've made just to uh, feature that. I'm right now printing some stands for anything that we pull, some of our uh, nicer cards. We also did get our Relic uh, in the first part. So spoilers there if you haven't watched that one. We got JD Martinez. Um, game worn memorabilia so we got that uh put in a top loader because it didn't fit in a sleeve so yeah not too bad of a result in that one but let's let's kick it off with this we're gonna open up another six packs we are breaking this up into um i'm gonna put that over there uh we are breaking this up into a four-part series at which we will um open up the hobby exclusive silver pack four cards in there so you'll want to uh, stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, um, and get notifications so you don't miss out on seeing, uh, what we pull from that. But for now, let's start with the basic stuff. Uh, we'll put those there. So let's give her a whirl. Uh, make your predictions. If we get another Luis Robert, one of those bad boys, if we get another one, which pack do you think it is? One through six? Leave it down in the comments. Let's find out. Hopefully we get something. Or even say if we don't get it at all if you have no confidence in us. <laughs> um, yeah, we got some good picks in the last one. I was pretty happy with that. Let's throw you over there. Let's see. All right, so we got a Kyle Garlic rookie card from the Los Angeles Dodgers. Not bad. Uh, we got Vince Velasquez from the Philadelphia Phillies. So that's just a base one. One thing that I will be doing is I will be just checking the back. You never know if you're going to get yourself a variant or something. Um, but also so you guys can see the stats if you're interested. We have Harold Castro from the Detroit, Detroit Tigers. Keep in mind, some of these guys might not be on the team that they're showing in these cards. Uh, we have Kelvin Herrera of the Chicago White Sox. There we go right there. Got them stats. Next, we have Jacob Stallings from the Pirates. Catcher right there. Not a bad pose. Not a bad one. Jacob Stallings. Next, we have... Williams Astadillo of the Minnesota Twins. Really good action shot there for him on this card. You can just see him going for the, that dive there. So we got that one there. Another dive over here with A.J. Pollock for the Dodgers. Hopefully there's a ball somewhere right here that's going into his mitt. So you can see that there. Next, we have David Bednar of the San Diego Padres, rookie card. Don't know if I have that one yet, but we'll add it to the rookie pile. Next, we have Trevor Story from the Colorado Rockies. Good throw him there on the shortstop. You can see that there. Next, we have Lance Lynn of the Texas Rangers, inaugural season card. So you can see he played with the Cardinals, Twins, and Yankees, and then the Rangers. Um, so I guess this is the first time being featured for those that don't know, um, a rookie card is specifically for, I think their rookie year, for instance, you won't see any stats from a club in the year before. Those are stats that is previous, um, I guess, uh, Amarillo. So I'm not quite sure what that is specifically. I don't know a lot of the minor league stuff, but so this is his first year in the majors. So that's what that designation is. They can't put that there. I think 2006 is when they did that. That designates that this is their first year being on the team. Inaugural season means it is the first time, I think, that they are including it in the set. So it's Top's way of saying, oh, this is their first time being included in one of ours. Next, we have Alex Cobb of the Baltimore Orioles. Get them uh, specs over here. We got our insert. You probably saw it already, but I can't see it because it's not in focus. 
So just base there. Let's see what we got. We got 1960s decades best for batters. Carl Yastrzewski. Is that Yastrzewski? I think it is. Boston Red Sox. It's a nice little one there. Old school. Put that in there. And then we got New York State of Mind. Nice little one there. If you're a fan of some of the uh, the moments, I think is what it is. What they call this kind of grouping of things. Put that there. And then last, we have Mark Melancon of the Braves. Just a base card. Nothing fancy. So nothing too major in that one. We did get two rookies. Hopefully we got uh, something a little better from pack number two. Um, I'll just quickly show it here. I know some people like to see the stats of the odds. So you can see the odds of us getting certain types of cards here. You can feel free to pause. Also, if you didn't know, um, there's no purchase necessary uh, in order to get some cards. So you can mail in. So especially if you don't have the money or whatnot, feel free to send an email. Um, well, at least once when we do the 2021, of course, this is 2020, so those days are gone. But uh, yeah, there is the option to get uh, some cards and such in the mail. So yeah, here you go. Let's, uh, let's move on here. Get this pack open. Get that out. Here we go. Throw you over there. Flip her over. So first off, we have John Birdie of the Miami Marlins rookie card here. You can see his stats right there. So there's our rookie. Next we have Chad Pinder of the Oakland Athletics. Get some specs there for him. Next we have Tyrone Taylor, the Milwaukee Brewers. Nice good uh, lead up to the hit rookie card. So I'll that, add that to the pile. He played with San Antonio before that. All right, so there's the rookie stack there. Next, we have Steven Bott. I think it's Bott, V-O-G-T. That could be wrong. Playing for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Got a couple of those. We have Cincinnati Reds team card right here. Pretty decent. And then we got just some details about the team there. Throw that in the pile. Next, we have San Francisco Giants. I don't know. I think I have this one. I could be wrong. Uh, there's the specs there. Um, next, we got revved up. Just some fun with the boys in the uh, dugout. All the teams on the offense. Revving it up. Having some fun. Pretending they're on a little motorbike. Not bad. Not bad. Keaton Kendrick. Shift gears. Uh, next, we have Jonathan Hernandez. Rookie card and inaugural season here. So it's kind of a double whammy. I'm not quite sure what the value is on this one. Might just be a base one. So we'll throw that in the rookie pile. Next, we have Jack Mayfield of the Houston Astros. Uh, huh, huh. So there's that there. So another rookie. So we'll put that in the pile. Try and make them face the right way. Uh, we have Drew... Oh, 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 we're teasing things. Uh, we have Drew Steckenrider of the Miami Marlins throwing that pitch. We got a specs there. Next, we have uh, Rened Odor. I hope I said that name right. So you can see that there. Next, we have our main insert, which is Decades Best 1980s New York Yankees. I don't think I have this one yet, so that's nice. Expand up on that. Man, that's some classic 80s, 80s look. So we'll have that in the decade's best pile. Next we have Howie Kendrick from the Washington Nationals. Make it a play on base. Wow, 14 years playing. Crazy. Most of his time with the Angels. And finally, we have Miguel Rojas of the Miami Marlins. Throwing it in. Look at that. There we go. All right, there's pack number two done. Let's move on to the next one. See how she goes. Apologies if you can hear any uh, car stuff 
in the background. I'm kind of on a main road, so a lot of people uh, like to rev it and just gun it up the street. Unsafe, I tell you. Unsafe. All right, throw that to the side. Let's get this kicking. First off, we have a Seattle Mariner, uh, Jake Fraley, his rookie card. Got a couple of his already. Throw that in the rookie pile. Next, we have Michael Wacha of the New York Mets. Uh, doing the wind up for his pitch. Looks like he's going for a curveball in that one. 99, base card. For those that don't know, a curveball, you tend to hold like this and you release it like vertically like that, and that causes the, uh, the break to curve. Whereas, like, a, you know, a two seam is right along the seams, one along each finger, and then a four seam fastball, the seams intersect. So, there's why it's called four seam, it's because there's two intersection points or four intersections. Little trivia for those that don't know how pitches work uh, Lucas Sims of the Cincinnati Reds. Tossing her in. Going for that strike. Next, we got ourselves Charlie Morton of the Tampa Bay Rays. You can just see the amount of force when these pitchers get ready to uh, release the ball. Just all through that arm there. Another Seattle Mariner, Dylan Moore. After uh, making a hit. Stats right there. Just a base card. Next, we have Eric Sogard of the Milwaukee Brewers. You can just see the force. Just look at the, look at the neck. Just so much force when they go for that swing. They're trying to hit the stands. Next, we have Victor Reyes of the Detroit Tigers. Looks like he's going in for a slide. Might be for home. Looks like it's for home. Could be for first. Well, do people? Most people don't slide first. I don't even know if you can. Uh, Luis Severino of the New York Yankees. Lobbing that pitch through. Means the deets there. Next, we have Justin Upton of the Los Angeles Angels. Looks like he might be just doing some practice swings or something. Doesn't look like that's a hit. You can't see catcher or anything behind. So I think he's just on deck maybe. Uh, Anthony Descofani, I'm going to assume that's how it's said, of the Cincinnati Reds, letting go of that pitch. There we go. No, oh, we got tops now, Juan Soto. So not exactly, uh, you know, the best thing there. I don't know if this is really any good for anything. Might just be a little plain insert. Oh, well. Oh, well. So we'll throw that. Uh, I don't know. I'll take it out. Uh, so for our main insert, we have shortstop Treya Turner um, of the Washington Nationals 1935, or not 1935, 35th anniversary card. Not bad. Ooh, I'm excited for this next one. It's not even a fancy one. Do you guys know the answer of the trivia? Oh, it's already there. Well, maybe next time we'll, uh, sorry for the camera jiggling. Uh, we'll do trivia. I'll try and cover that up if we encounter one of these again. Um, yeah, yeah, not bad. This one I'm happy about. I don't have Danny Jansen of the Blue Jays yet. He's their catcher. Um, he's playing pretty well so far. So I'm pretty happy about that. For those that don't know, I am a Blue Jays fan, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. That's the first J of the pack. Um, I tend to put those aside because I do like to collect the J's uh, separately and just make note of who I got. And finally, last of this pack is Spencer Turnbull of the Detroit Tigers. There you have it. All right, another pack down. We'll we'll tap our Luis Robert for uh, some luck here. Hope the next pack gives us a little uh, little love. Although I'm happy to get a new Blue Jay. That's a, that's a win in my book. All righty. Let's get it done. All right, first off, we have Dakota Hudson, future star, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Next, we have Pablo Lopez of the Miami Marlins. Lobbing a pitch. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy with this. 
Next, we have Stephen Brault of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Getting ready to launch a pitch. That's a pretty good one. Nice tattoo, too. Next, we have Christopher Walker. No, wait. Wrong voice. That's uh, Christian Walker. Uh, <laughs> close, but no cigar. For the Arizona Diamondbacks. On, uh, on there, ready to bat. Next, we have the San Diego Padres team card. Some fun going there. Tatis Jr. would be a uh, good card to get. I think that's more for the 2021. That's that's the card we're hoping to get. He's a good one for the 2021 series, I believe. Next, we have the Bumba Brothers. Cruz and Sano celebrate a home or home run title. That's a good one. That's a nice new one. I don't think I have that. Three's Company. Yeah, welcome in their man home, inaugural season. I could be wrong on the inaugural season, unless that's like the first that one of these guys is showing up. I'll double check it. We'll put a little edit here, because I made that statement earlier. So down below it should show uh, what the inaugural season is um, specifically for, as well as a rookie card. So we'll add that in. In post, as they say. Next we have Rich Hill of the Minnesota Twins. Don't get a lot of Twins um, cards. Well, I, I get some, but not as frequent as the others. That's just a normal one. Next, we have Justin Dunn of the Seattle Mariners rookie card. I was a Seattle Mariners fan for a short time. Um, I was a big fan of, or I am a big fan of Dempster, Ryan Dempster, if you don't know him. Um, pitcher for the Cubs, and then he was traded to, was it? I think it was the Red Sox he got traded to and ended up going through a world series with that so uh yeah but he he was always a nice guy uh he came from my hometown so got a little bending on this card so it's not the perfect perfect grade for this uh uh Aled Aledmus diaz of the astros oops Whew. next we got harrison bader of the st louis cardinals making a good dive catch Oh, there we have it. We have Chris Bryant, 2030 card. There it is right there. So just talking about the Cubs. Look at that. Third baseman for the Chicago Cubs right there. Yeah. Nice little card. So we'll put that right there. I thought it was maybe a fancy Blue Jays one, and I would have been really happy. They have very similar coloring, the red, white, and blue. Uh, Jose Ramirez of the Cleveland Indians coming in base card and last of it another cubs card of jason hayward uh outfielder for them there we go all righty moving on we're on to our last two packs there's only one after this one so uh maybe okay the fingers didn't do it so maybe we have to you know tap the pack on our uh luis to get some luck we'll see how that goes Send your luck my way, too, if you got some. All right. So we have Jonas Cespedes of the New York Mets making a diving catch. Um, not one, just a base card. Next, we have Daniel Norris of the Detroit Tigers winding up for his pitch. Not bad. Not bad. Next, we have Walker Bueller of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, another winding up pitcher. Get his stats there. Next, Rick Porcello. I've got a couple of these, so this one is a duplicate for my personal collection, but he's part of the New York Mets. So we have uh, some stats there. Next, we have uh, Brian Buxton, or Byron, sorry, Byron Buxton of the Minnesota Twins. Diving in. Can't tell if that would be second or third, but uh, yeah, he's make, getting some air. He's got a vertical. Not a vertical, horizontal. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Garrett Hampson of the Colorado Rockies. Making a toss. Making a play. Next, we have Eddie Rosario sliding in. Looks like he might be sliding into home. It's tough to tell. Yeah, because you can see the... Uh, well, maybe. Yeah, because it... I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. What's he sliding into? Is that home? Looks like it might be home. Could be second base, though. 
because got an umpire there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Nathan Yovaldi, I think we already got one of him in an uh, earlier pack from this box, from the Boston Red Sox. There's in there. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We have Josh Donaldson of the Minnesota Twins. I mentioned earlier that we don't get a lot of Twins, but I guess we, got, we do get some. Uh, we got the Philly Special right here. These boys with the celebrating the home run. There we go. Uh, roll out the barrel. This is a duplicate. We got one in maybe this video. Might have been the last part. That's it there. Next, we have a Dom Nunez Colorado Rockies rookie card. Interesting. Do we not get an insert? Unless this is... Is this serialized or something? Do we really get... Nothing? Am I crazy? Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments if I missed something on uh, uh, pack number five. But Dom Nunez. Colorado Rockies. Uh, rookie, right there. And then we have Ivan Nova of the Detroit Tigers. Dropping a pitch. So, any of these a variant? I don't think any of these are a variant. I could be crazy, though. Ah, they're all normal. Weird. That was a bit more of a lackluster pack. Well, oh no, because I think we got this. Was this from that pack? No. I don't know. Tell me if I missed it, because I genuinely don't know. That felt like a dud pack. All right. Last pack. You know what? We'll let Luis Robert keep his uh, luck, and we'll open this one just on our own. So far, he hasn't been paying off. So let's see how this goes. Final pack. Open it up right now. Throw that off. Hey, first, right out the bat, Tanner Rourke. Um, I think he's out right now, possibly with an injury. He had a bit of a rough game against, uh, I can't remember, I think it was the Yankees. In the first two innings, letting in quite a few runs. But hopefully he does a little better in the regular season. But I think, I think this is a duplicate. But still, I'm always happy to get uh, a Jays card. Jordan Luplo of the Cleveland Indians. Got details there. Uh, next, we have Brandon Nimmo of the New York Mets. Let me know. Do you guys like it when I flip around so you can see the stats and see uh, about the folks? If you don't, let me know. And we can change up. Figure out a good format for y'all. Um, next, we have Ozzy Albies for the Atlanta Braves. Stance right there. Until you guys let me know different, I will keep doing it. Uh, next, we have Brock Burke of the Texas Rangers. So this is a rookie card and inaugural. We explained earlier what uh, the difference is between those two. So there's him. I'll put him in the rookie pile. We'll, we'll flip it. Uh, next, we have, whew, this is a hard one, um, Isaiah kiner Falefa, inaugural season, catcher for the Texas Rangers. Boom, boom. Yeah, so it looks like, you yeah, know, Rangers... First time he's featured, but his rookie year would have been 2019 because he played for other folks before. Nashville? Hmm. Uh, inaugural season? Eh, we'll consider that. Normal stack. Next, we have Alec, Alex Dickerson of the San Francisco Giants sliding into base there. Just a normal one. Next, we have Chris Bassett. This is a duplicate. We got one earlier in the box. Of course, you know, you have this many cards. You're bound to get duplicates. Next, we have Glenn Sparkman of the Kansas City Royals. There we go, 09. Hey, we got another Hyunjin Ryu of the Toronto Blue Jays. So we got our first one in the uh, part one of this series. So we'll put him with the Blue Jays. That's another one. Look at that. We have Glaber Torres of the New York Yankees Home Run Challenge. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, we got a rainbow foil. Look at how beautiful that is. I'll try and get it where it's not too much in the light. Just so you can see that rainbow. Look at it sparkle. I think this is the first rainbow foil I have. Nice. New York Yankees, Giancarlo, Stanton. Got that there. So we'll get that one into a sleeve. And depending on the price, it might end up in a, a top loader. Look at that. Ooh, she's pretty. So that's a good one. That's a good pull. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, home run challenge. So for those of you that don't know, um, with these particular cards, they actually have a code on the back. So in this case, 
I think this is past its date, but yeah, basically you scratch it off and you can enter the code. And what it lets you do is you actually get to say when what game you think this particular uh, player, so Glaber Torres, I have one for Joey Gallo, I think it is. Um, you say when what game you think they will get a home run. And if you're right, you'll win a very special card. So if you're picking up the 2021 series of Topps cards and you get one of these, definitely do it because it's it's worth it. You might get yourself a very unique special card. So give her a whirl. Give her a whirl. So there's that one. Nothing special with it, though, on its own. They're not very uh, super rare. Most of these have one of those guaranteed in each. Uh, next, we have Freddie Freeman of the Atlanta Braves. I'm a fan of Freddie. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. There's a couple times where he's been mic'd up, and he is super funny. Um, I recommend checking it out on YouTube. Um, you know, just look for Freddie Freeman mic'd up, um, and it's 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 a laugh. It's pretty fun. Um, he's a funny guy. So he's been playing with the Braves his whole career. So that's pretty pretty crazy. I think though he has. I don't know if he's changed teams in 2020 to 2021. Yeah, so this is Freddie Freeman. That's a good one to add to the collection. And next we have Mike, F who Mike Fultinovich of the Atlanta Braves as well. Just a base card. So there's that. That is all the packs. So let's quickly go over what we picked up. So for rookies, we actually got quite a few. We got Brock Burke of the Texas Rangers. We got Dom Nunez of the Colorado Rockies. Justin Dunn of the Mariners. Jake Fraley of the Seattle Mariners, uh, Jack Mayfield of the Astros, uh, Jonathan Hernandez of the Rangers, Tyrone Taylor of the Milwaukee Brewers, John Birdie of the Marlins, David Bednar of the Padres, and Kyle Garlick of the Dodgers. Sorry if I'm off center there a bit. We got this Tops now. I think this is like their digital Um Nothing really fancy with it. Not sure what exactly. It's about. Next, we have a 35th anniversary uh, Treya Turner card. We got our decades best for the 1980s. We got the New York Yankees. And then we got 1960s uh, for batters, Carl Yastrzewski. Next, we got ourselves uh, Chris Bryant 2030 card. Nice sparkle to it. Little disco, like I said earlier. Uh, we got, we'll go through our Blue Jays. Some of you might be Jays fans, let me know. Uh, tweet it up down below. We got Hyunjin Ryu again. We got ourselves Tanner Rourke. And then we don't have him yet, but we've got Danny Jansen. Great catcher. Next, we have the Home Run Challenge. We got uh, Glaber Torres. Nothing fancy in its own right, but if you get these in the, while kind of you're ongoing in the season, super worth it. And finally, really good looking card right here with that rainbow foil Giancarlo Stanton uh, we'll put I'm not quite sure what the price is of this one but uh, anything that has a really decent price point uh, we'll make sure to let you guys know if it's a if it's a big hit for us so anyways thank you so much for watching you guys uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe obviously it's YouTube you know what to do um, but add the notifications if you guys want to be here for when the uh, the next part of the 2020 series hobby box opening comes out um this is part two we'll have a part three and a part four and in part four you won't want to miss it we'll, we we will be opening the hobby exclusive silver pack uh four cards in here so you don't want to miss that um so make sure to subscribe anyways thank you so much guys for watching my name is kevin and thank you for watching canadian card pickers and we will see you guys next time anyways bye